Hey guys, Mac Kentucky Range Time back with another episode in the 300 Blackout Gel Block Test Series. Today we're looking at the Acme 265 grain DS Special Bullet. Now, this is a cast lead bullet and uh, with a high tech coating applied to it. And if you can tell right here, from here to here, this bullet is sized at, at 311 and then it tapers down in this area. So, what happens is when you load this thing up, this bullet actually gets thinner all the way down through here and is thin enough that it allows the bullet to extend down past the rifling without engaging anything. And then once the bullet's fired and, and the back part of this bullet comes out, it will engage the rifling and stabilize uh, and actually does pretty well. Uh, I've had this round, this bullet for several years that I've been loading it. And when I first picked these up from Acme, uh, I actually got these through uh, Titan Reloading. and. Uh, this is one of the lead distributors. Uh, I actually had posted this up on my Instagram page and the guy who designed this mold for this bullet uh, actually reached back out to me and, and sent me loadings and everything for this bullet, which is pretty neat. So uh, I always appreciate that kind of interaction from these guys. Uh, so this is, this is the next test. Now I have previously tested this in Joe Block uh, in a collaboration video with the Gun Dungeon uh, over on his YouTube page. And uh, you guys can go back and check that out. And uh, that was a that was a fun day. And uh, so, but I'm going to run them again here. And uh, the difference this time is I've I've actually got this steel plate set up behind this 32 inches of gel block. I'm not expecting to get a catch uh, at all on these. Uh, and that's something that Derek and I have proved before. These things will zip through 32 inches of gel block and not even slow down. So uh, anyway, let's get turned around here and take a look at the loading, and then head on out to the range. Okay, so uh, the loading we're using here today for this is uh, Accurate 1680 on our powder, CCI small rifle primers, and of course the, uh, the Acme high-tech coated uh, bullet here, 265 grain DS special. And Acme bullets come in this neat little uh, wooden case that they make. I, I run these in nine millimeter and a couple of other calibers. and. Uh, you know, depending on the quantity you're purchasing, they have different sizes of, of these wooden boxes. And these are some really nice storage boxes. I mean, uh, I actually have all these boxes. Once I load these bullets out, I, I hang on to these and they're good to store any number of things in. So uh, just a, a really nice touch there. And and these bullets are pretty cheap too. I mean, you, you would think they would be higher than what they are, and uh, but they're not. So anyway, here's another look at this. Um, you see how much that's down in the case. And you can see the break in the size right there, where it tapers down from 311 back down to the smaller profile. And I will say that when I first started loading this bullet, uh, I had to buy a neck expanding mandrel. Uh, I, I picked one up from Lee. It does pretty much every size up to 45 ACP caliber, but I actually had to expand the neck, uh, bell the neck on these, these 300 blackout cases like you would a pistol round. Uh, to be able to get this bullet to start in without scratching up the lead and everything. So uh, uh, that is a, a little bit of a difference there, an extra step to loading these. Uh, but all in all, the finished product is pretty good. Now, these uh, these will cycle out of my R15, but what I found was it was shaving lead off as it goes past the gas port and sending it back in my, my bolt carrier. And uh, so now uh, the PC coated, the lead bullets, and these high-tech coated uh, cast bullets uh, I do not run these in my AR any longer. I, I reserve these for use in my CVA Scout takedown. So let's get out to the range and see what these things are doing. Acme 165 grain DS Special, shot number one. All right, let's go check that out. All right, guys, wound track for this one is here in the back. It's behind these other two. It lays just behind our first shot from earlier. But then right here, it separates out. And guess what? We did find the backstop. 
and in a serious way. So this bullet went through 32 inches of gel block, hit the backstop and still had enough energy just to completely fragment and shatter that thing up. Look at all the lead chunks in here, guys. I mean, this is, uh, this is pretty impressive. Let's see if we can peel this plate back here a little bit. So right there, you can see where the bullet impacted the plate. And look at this. I mean, that was a lot of energy right there. Dead center of the gel block too. I don't know how I managed that. But I mean, look at all these fragments. I mean, of course this is hitting steel plate. So this thing I'm sure just, just ruptured as soon as it hit. But the energy that this thing had after going through 32 inches of gel block to do this is, is still pretty impressive. All right, I'm gonna try one more of these. Looks like I did not get a velocity on that shot. So uh, hopefully we can pick up a velocity here. If not, I'll put a couple of these into the backstop. Let's, uh, let's put one more of these in the gel block. Once again, I did not get a velocity. And I did knock that big chunk of steel off the back. All right, guys, so uh, we're at the bottom moving track on this one. And once again, this thing tracked absolutely straight through this block, hit the plate on the back again. And again, we got this massive, uh, massive explosion of this bullet uh, fragmenting up when it hit the steel plate. Uh, you can see this chunk of steel. That's about a, a, a 15 pound chunk of steel that I had bookended for this plate here. And that still hit with enough force to uh, to knock that piece all the way off the table. And just a couple of small chips of lead out here too, you can see scattered around on the table. So uh, pretty impressive results. Let's see if we can peel this back. All right. So actually it looks like that bullet track and hit over here a little bit lower than the first one. But look at those fragments, guys. That's uh, that's probably the bulk of uh, 530 grains of lead all shrapneled out right there. So I scrolled through the settings a while ago without my glasses on. And I picked up the 1700 foot and faster bracket off of this instead of the 1700 and slower for these sub loads. There we go, 1062. That is just right smack dab on top of max sub velocities. Depending on what your altitude is, what elevation you're at, that can be sub or it can be not sub. Let's go for round two. 1058, SD's looking good, 1.9, and round three, 1066, all right, so we are running just a tad bit faster on the average than probably what sub velocities are here, but we're, but we're right there, definitely. Uh, three shot average was uh, 1062. Standard deviation of 3.5, kinetic energy of 669 foot-pounds. So that's a, that's a good indication of why those things were were fragmenting up on the on the plate at the end of that 32 inches of gel block up there. So all right, guys. So I uh, got home and I uh, actually started cleaning these gel blocks up to uh, to get them back in the uh, in the heater and, and get them melted back down. 
And this is what I ended up picking out of the end of that gel block after two rounds. Uh, 265 grain uh, bullet up here. And the results from two, the sum of the, the pieces of two bullets was uh, 380 some grain. So we got about 120 grains of a second bullet, which means that we're about 145 grains short. So on top of the uh, the lead that actually stopped in the gel block, we, we lost about 140 some grains uh, that, that squirted out between the gel block and the plate here. And uh, so uh, just, just impressive uh, performance out of this. This stuff hardly even slowed down going through the gel block. Uh, the wound cavity was small and long. Um, just uh, just massive penetration out of this. So, uh, you know, without that steel plate there, uh, I would be curious to know how many inches of gel block this thing actually would go through before it would actually slow down enough to stop. So, so right, guys, there you go. The, the Acme 265 grain DS special high-tech coated bullet. And, uh, you know, everybody I've, I've showed this bullet to says, hey, it looks like a tube of lipstick. And, and you know, it, it, it does look like a tube of lipstick, but it definitely hits differently. So, uh, you know, massive penetration with this thing. Uh, if it does hit a hard surface, it's soft lead. So you are going to get a, a, a level of expansion out of this and maybe some good wound track after that. Uh, but definitely on the deep penetration. So, uh, you know, just, uh, just a pretty unique bullet. And uh, I'm sure that, you know, everybody's got a purpose for this somewhere, even if it's just uh, deep penetration into a hog or something similar. But uh, all right, if you got any questions, leave them in the comments. As always, thanks for watching. And if you haven't already, please hit that like and subscribe button. And uh, Matt from Kentucky Range Time, we'll catch you on the next one.